Hello everybody. So today we're making grilled chicken sandwiches on the Acorn Junior. So I love grilled chicken sandwiches. Super easy dish to make. Uh, great for lunch, great for dinner, whatever you like. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell so you see all of our new videos that we bring out. So if you're a current subscriber, I want to thank you for all your support. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and comment down below. So I want to know from you is, what is your favorite chicken sandwich? Is it grilled? Is it fried? I know what mine is. A lot of people don't want to admit which one there is. is. Whether you go to a restaurant or the drive-thru, usually if they're selling chicken sandwiches, you can get grilled or fried. So I want to know from you which one is your favorite. And I'll let you know which one is mine at the end of the video. So everybody, let's get cooking. Let's go through our ingredients. Starting at 8 o'clock going clockwise, we've got a nice, beautiful, ripe red tomato we're going to slice up. That's going to be a topping. We've got a sweet onion that we're going to slice into thick slices and grill those on top of the grill. Nice and charred on the outside, but still kind of raw on the inside. And then we've got some beautiful chicken there. Chicken breasts, fillets, sliced in half. Basically olive oil on the outside, brushed with some pink Himalayan salt, black ground pepper, and some garlic salt as well on both sides, and a little squeeze of lime. Uh, top left there, we've got some lettuce that we're also going to add on top, and then some beautiful brioche buns, and of course our American cheese that we're going to melt at the end. That's it. Real simple dish. American classic, <laughs> it's awesome. And then we got some pecan smoking chips that we're gonna add in the fire just to give it some more flavor. It's a nice, mild, smoky flavor that these bring. And you gotta marinate, uh, not marinate, you gotta put these in water for about a half an hour just so they don't burn up because they're just chips. And I just have a couple handfuls there, real simple. Uh, fire and flavor is the brand. I got them at Publix and they really brought out a nice uh, pecan flavor to these chips. So let's start our fire. Just using some lump charcoal here on the Acorn Junior. Cranking it up, getting it nice and hot. And there come the flames. I've got a tumbleweed starter underneath, which I love, by the way. Thank you uh, for turning me on to those. One of my subscribers turned me on to those. They work awesome. There's a nice little view of the lake with some ducks. Tumbleweed starter kicking it off, and it's a beautiful day. And then we add our pecan wood into the lit charcoals. There's our brioche buns getting a nice crust on the inside. Doesn't take long. And then there's our onion slices, nice and thick. I'm gonna char them up on the outside, that's about it. Those look delicious. Get a nice little close up. And the main event, our chicken breast which by the way, I did pound them out a little bit, put them on a cutting board, put a little uh, plastic wrap on top, 
and pound it down with the bottom of your favorite pan or pot and they get about double the size of what they are in the actual package nice and thin you can see they're nice and coated with the olive oil and the seasonings and that's what you're looking for right there and these do not take long you want them at about 400 degrees 400 to 450 and they literally about two to three minutes on each side that's it but you want a nice char with the grill marks look at that that's exactly what you're looking for oh beautiful we're gonna flip these one time cook them for another two to three minutes on the other side add our cheese and we are done Here we go. You want to give it another 30 seconds before they're done, before you add your cheese so you don't burn them or overcook them, I should say. And here we go. Cheese down, another 30 seconds to a minute, and we are good to go. It's up to 450. Cheese is melted. Here's a nice little close-up so you can see our beautiful grilled chicken sandwich. Let's get them off and go give them a big taste oh my god they look delicious <laughs> Woo -wee! man look at this beautiful grilled chicken sandwich it is absolutely gorgeous this brioche bun we grilled up a little bit toasted on the top and bottom just a tad just give it a little crunch um, we've got some melted American cheese. We've got a grilled onion on top of that. Tomato on top of that. Lettuce on top of that. I threw some mayo on the buns. That's how I like it. And this is going to be good. Let's give it a taste. I got I to gotta crunch it down a little bit. This thing is huge. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Look at that. Mmm. Falling apart. Mm -mm -mm. That is so tasty. Mm. Went in for a second bite. Oh my God. That tastes awesome. With the salt, pepper, garlic, and the olive oil, Marinated for about half hour, 45 minutes. A uh, little squeeze of lime, not too much. And cook it on the acorn on that grill with the pecan wood. You can taste that pecan coming through in the chicken. It tastes really good. Uh, so to answer your question, do I like grilled or fried better? I'm not going to lie. Fried chicken sandwich. <laughs> I mean, this tastes awesome, but come on. Fried is better, in my opinion. Not as good for you as this, but I think it tastes better. Anyway, everybody, I want to thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.